We're back for session 11, the third, fourth, and fifth seals here in Matthew 24 in the sixth seal. These seals give us the history of our lives as humanity from the beginning to the end. When Christ opened the seals, the seals tell the entire story. However, they can compress themselves into periods of times. For instance, take the second seal's revelation of a great sword. The Hittites had great weapons in their time. Cain's sons created great swords for their time, giving them the advantage in war. And down through the generations, the great sword has been utilized. Yet, the great sword in this generation points to the ICBMs and nuclear, atomic, and hypersonic weapons that have been developed. Let's move into the third, fourth, and fifth seals. In Revelation chapter six, it reads, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. The black horse of the third seal is responsible for our physical and spiritual famines that typically follow war and distress. The black horse also represents darkness. This is a lack of spiritual awareness, spiritual knowledge and understanding. 